friends. Ooh, I almost got ready to say hey heifers, but that's for my real close friends. <laughs> friends. My ride and die friends. <laughs> No, hey, hon. Hope y'all are just having a great Wednesday. I said we were going to call what the Wednesday. We had several what this. Um, I had to go and get my catheter bag changed. And I needed to pick up like dog food, cat food, that type of situation. So we went to go do that. And what else was I going to say? Dead burn. Don't you hate it when you get like a, a story in your head or you're going to tell somebody and then you forget just like that. Welcome to my life. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> More like a haunted house. <laughs> Ooh. Anywho, I forgot what I was going to talk about. Anywho, oh honey, give me a minute. I'll find something to talk about. <laughs> Dogging ain't none of my problem. I can talk. Alright, I am going to make supper in the Instapot tonight. Um, thank you, who ever. Someone, one of our viewers, in my mind, one of our viewers gave us this. Had it sent. Um, and now I can't remember. Of course, I couldn't remember. Yeah. So, whoever sent it, thank you. Thank you. More than you know, thank you. Because I am going to make um, barbecued ribs. Smoked barbecued ribs. They're pork, but they're the thick ones. I'm hoping they're going to be good. Usually on ribs, we buy either like little slabs, you know, or the riblets. We love the riblets. All right, so I'm just going to put that back down in there. All right, let's get these ribs out and see what it says. I don't think it says anything. It's a pack of ribs. The only reason, like I said, why I bought this kind versus the kind we usually get, I usually get the ones that are like the whole slab connected together. You know, slab ribs. They had these on sale for $1.38 a pound. Look how much, look how much mama paid for that one. It's got a little ice on it. It's now froze frostbite. There's the other one. Isn't that amazing? Honey, I saw that price and I was like, ooh. And Bay was with me, and he's like, "Honey, we don't we don't cook the ribs like that." I said, "For four dollars and something cents, yes we do. <laughs> yes we do. Because other than egg, other than eggs, and they're near about up there, can you get a good thing of meat for under five dollars? I'm waiting." Nobody answered. <laughs> oh. So, but I goofed. I was supposed to put them on when I got home from our doings. Like I said, I had my catheter change and then um, we went to Walmart to pick up dog food, cat food, life's necessities. Um, that I thought Bo had picked up. I'm looking for my glasses because I can't read that little writing. But we 
Okay, ketchup, brown sugar, and water. So let me gather all, all my goodies and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I did get my ribs kind of prepped, I guess you would say. I have not done my little, I got this Instapot packet for ribs and I would do it when we shake your hand. Um, it, it says fall off the bone. So we're praying that we get fall off the bone ribs. Or at least taste good ribs, you know what I mean? Um, Walmart, like where the seasonings are, you know, like where the packet gravy and the packets of hollandaise sauce and, you know, the little spaghetti sauce and the little thingy, where those are, you should be able to find. And they've got a few flavors. they also got flavors for sheet pan meals. That sheet pan farmers something <gasps> oh my gosh y'all put that on some chicken get you something green with broccoli asparagus whatever you like put that on there and then maybe like little potatoes or something honey you will have to help your tongue not slap the back of your head cause it gonna be that good alright so this we're gonna add to some water, but before that, I wish I could find my glasses. Hold on. Okay, if y'all are a little crooked, y'all look a little crooked. Okay, we're gonna call that good. Um, I noticed on the package, thank goodness, A, I always wash my pork. Wash your pork, wash your chicken, and wash your beef. Don't, not your ground beef, but any of your sliced cuts of beef wash them um if you ever see that yellow light <laughs> yeah, yeah if you have yellow throw it away it'd be kind of a light almost like a powder or something that is tallow from where they cut it and it hit the bone and so because whenever we would have our cows butchered i always had to wash that because they did not get the tallow off that they could and they killed and cut, and that was it. Well, and they pa packaged it. I should say that. All right. So this says take two tablespoons of our sauce, and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. And the rest we're gonna put in a measuring cup with some water and brown sugar. That right there would be about a tablespoon. Let's see if I'm right. I know how to do a teaspoon fine, no problem. I can do that all day. But let's see if I know what I was talking about. Okay, one tablespoon. I was shy just a smidge. Isn't this a one tablespoon? Or am I wrong? Is that a teaspoon? I can't read it for the Dickens and now. Yeah, one tablespoon. Don't you love how they put it in here in red and this is red? And it's not stamped very well. So we're going to put a tablespoon on this one. Didn't get there right there, but we're going to. Worry about that here in a minute. But yeah, my hand trick, I was a little off. But, honey, I'm always a little off. <laughs> oh. Oh, gee. Okay. Okay, we're just going to dump that on there. All right, and it says kind of rub in. I want to make sure. I'm going to steal a little bit from this one to put on for them. I want to kind of make sure. All right, now what, what do we do when we finish rubbing? Rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. 
Okay. So we're going to go ahead and after we rub these in. We're just going to rub it in. All right. got my brown sugar it was um, a fourth of a cup two thirds cups of water one cup of ketchup and then you know we used two tablespoons to cut our ribs and then anything that was left you go ahead and put in your liquid mixture and I am just going to stir this up I really need a whisk um, let me find one maybe Um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, it said put half of your ribs in. And I was debating about whether I used the rack or not. It did not say. And I'm used to, if it's me, you put that rack in there. I'm just saying. So, it said put half the ribs. And I'm getting to the last. And I am kind of having a cuddle them up next to one another if you know what mine but they're gonna be covered up they ain't gonna be seen oh. <laughs> my ribs be getting hot okay here's that last one right now we're gonna pour half of this I'm gonna get y'all in a second we're gonna pour half of this it is right now. I can't read. One cup. So we're going to go in and we're going to try our best. To do. Half a cup. I think that'd be about right, don't you? Alright, so we need to move this. We're going to be doing these. Come on. Slide to me. Yeah, they were trying to teach me. What was it? Not the electric slide. Oh, what job, what's that new one? Okay, once you've gotten that mixture, let me wash my hands and show y'all. Because I can see you all the way to the moon, but I need to show y'all. I'm still so confused on my days, y'all. I was a week behind in my calendar. I mean, I thought all our appointments that we had last week were this week. Alright, that's what that looks like with that first pack of ribs and half the sauce that we made. Okay, just put it in there like that. However, you can get them in there cozy and cushy, okay? Now, we're going to, let me get you where I can get you. I'm going to finish doing these and I'll put those in and I'll be back and I'll show you. Okay, I just remembered I do have lighting back there. Ah, halfway through the video and we remember. Alright, 
I got all those in and tucked in nicely. I hope everybody gets along. If you don't get along, too bad. You're stuck where you are. All right. <laughs> this is that sauce that I made that we've already poured in half. Now we're going to pour this other half in over the other part of the ribs that we had left. See that? I'm just kind of poured it over there. And I have got a stack of dishes. Alright. So, uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. I had that song. Who remembers Hold On by Sam and Dave? Hold on. I'm coming. Hold on. I'm coming. That was my ringtone. Because <laughs> I would have my phone would be Lord knows where. And I'd hear it ringing and it would be doing that. And I'm like, hold on, I'm coming. And they're like. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a little bit of humor. Humor. All right. As soon as I'm not crazy no more. Oop, there go my top teeth. <laughs> All right. Now it says to put our tops on, everybody. Ladies, we should have already had that. Men do not get excited. It is not that kind of show. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to wipe this off. All right. Now, and I was going to remember my arrow lines up there. All right, we're lined up. Now we, there we go. You'll hear that do 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 do. And I got to make sure it's on pressure. Yeah. All right, now, and then this says. Um, what does this say? Set to cook 40 minutes on meat stew function or until meat is tender. When done, quick release the pressure. Open the lid once pressure inside the pot is completely released. Um, transfer to a serving platter. Skim fat from sauce and then serve the sauce over ribs. Okay, we can do that. That's no problem. So, 40 minutes. Now, I will say, let me get a rag or something. That's going to drive me cray cray. Without. I, I'm, I know I have meat up here. And it's just going to drive me insane. Honey, I love Dawn Power Wash. I am not sponsored by them. But hey, Dawn. <laughs> Are they... By Procter and Gamble. <gasps> they are. Hey, Procter and Gamble. Do you know? Do y'all remember Johnson and Johnson? They made the original Johnson and Johnson baby powder. And they had other products way back in the day. I mean, like, way back in the day. Well, I think both of them. I am not. Don't hold me to that. My grandmother, Grandma Olive, said that when they lived in Luverne, um, they knew the Johnsons. And them boys, she said they were smart as a whip. And they went on to become the Johnson and Johnson brothers. She said, now when they were real young, she said, they were rowdy. They'd throw mice on you. <laughs> I'm like, oh my lord. Oh you, oh, you hadn't been to school if you hadn't had a mouse thrown at you. <laughs> she was born in 1904. So there you go. There's a little backstory on that one. All right. This is what I was going to tell you. I know it said 40 on meat and stew. Let's see if I've got that where y'all can. No, not really. We're going to go just a bit more. And just a bit more. There we go. Okay. Um, it said do the meat and stew. 
I've done that one time. I was doing some beef tips. And they turned out awful. It was the first thing I ever made in my Instapot. They were just awful. So, and it was because... I, some of y'all, I asked, and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And I made the comment that I, you know, had them under the pressure cook, and they're like, uh, no, I had them under the meat stew. And she's like, no, 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 whatever it says, don't pay attention, you do pressure cook. And, okay, 40 minutes. Okay, that's it. It should ding, ding, ding. <gasps> Told ya. Okay, and you know it's going to take longer than 40 minutes because it's, it's got to get up to pressure and then it's got to do 40 minutes cooking and then it's got to calm, well, a little quick release it. Yeah, we'll quick look. Done. No, no. <laughs> we'll quick release it. See, I have to be very intentional about my words. I just... <sighs> yeah. It'll be alright, though. It'll be alright. Till you say seal. <sighs> In the grocery store. And I'm not talking about, like, sealing a Ziploc bag. I meant the animal. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, the animal, the seal gets in the water. Hey, so do not look at me and judge me. And don't judge me. <laughs> Anywho, um, we passed by some... Oh, they had the whale crackers. You know, like... Like the uh, goldfish. And so they had whales, they had um, Teddy Grahams, the Teddy Grahams are separate because they're like sweet. Fat Man loves some honey. Hold on a second. Now I'm going to get to see. Oh. Um, yeah, when I got in this afternoon from shopping, and doing our thing and getting my catheter changed, all that fun stuff. Our refrigerator was going beep, 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 beep. And Carol Beth was in here near about two years because she came in first. Mama, I didn't do it. But watch, something else broke. Something else, Mama, we can't have. Because we had been, and I told y'all, don't ever ask, what next? Or, what now? Because God will show you, you thought that was good. You hang on. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Sitting down now. Like, hopefully, y'all laying in the glare. So, I'm going to let that do its thing. I'm going to sit here and kind of collect myself. See, just that little bit, sometimes I am fine. I don't know, for whatever reason, these past two weeks have just done me out. And my infusion nurse had made the comment. Um, she had messaged me, I want to say Monday, because, you know, Friday, I hit, no, Thursday, I hit the ground running of last week. And I've been boom, 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 boom. Ooh, that weekend was just everything. Everything. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was everything. Any hoozles. Um, I was going somewhere with this story. I'm like your old granny that y'all go and visit and the, the little kids like, granny crazy. And then y'all look, yep, but don't tell her. And then I dance her, I already know. <laughs> okay, 
So we're gonna let those cook. I am gonna sit and just kind of chill in my chair. I really do need to make some pasta salad. Wasn't going to. I was gonna make, what the crap was I gonna make? Oh, baked beans and something. I was gonna do baked beans and something. Oh, corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. I think, though, instead of baked beans, or even green beans or something, I might open a can of green beans for Carol Beth. She does not like corn on the cob. Um, where was I going with this? Y'all just let me get off track too easy. Y'all gotta behave and put me back on my track. That's why I tell my students. If I get off subject, or if I look blank at you, you know my train has come off the rails. Please put my train back on the rails where we were. Just, it just kind of remind me just a little bit where we were. And it will click and snap. Be like uh, Reese Witherspoon and Legally Blonde. Bend and snap. <laughs> I can't bend no more. Anyway, I was going to tell. Lord knows. Alright, so we're going to let that do that. I'll be back. Alright, I was near about to forget to get y'all. <laughs> I'm going to take the lid off. Now, I did, because I was doing other things, um, and I couldn't get to it where I could do the natural release. Is it natural release? Rapid release? So where I could do the little thing where I go um, I waited about 29 minutes I was busy I was taking a nap but between me y'all Jesus and anybody that wants to know I was giving my brain a test okay a rest but it still needs that alright so, they're looking good. I am praying that they are good done. They smell wonderful. I'm not going to be able to grab that, but my high ends. And I'm still trying to remember. Came in a gift package. Sent a bunch of seasonings. And something else. A memory. But rub my butt. No. <laughs> well, looks like I might have to leave them in there and get them out with some tongs or something. Because if I lift that up, they come down down. So, let's see if we do it this way. They are fall apart. They are certainly fall apart. I'm trying to see if they're good done. And I know some of them have a little bit more seasoning than the others. I want y'all to see down in here. But don't get steamed up about it. <laughs> Uh-oh. That one fell apart. I mean, they're just... They're falling off the bone. Yeah. They are just plum falling off the, which I guess in a way is a good thing if it falls off the, see there's the bone. If it falls off the bone, it'll be easier for me to get the leftovers and, you know, pull them apart and have pulled pork sandwiches Saturday. So, see this was a let's think ahead game plan. Always plan maybe three meals. Um, 
plan your Monday meal. Your you know, meatless Monday, money Monday, however you want to look at it. Plan that meal. Tuesday, we always do like a taco Tuesday, but it's not always tacos. Sometimes we'll have taco salad. Sometimes we'll have um, that thing that won't hang there. We'll have different types, you know. Shoot, I dropped a piece on the floor. I'm telling y'all, they're just falling slap apart. I need another plate. Oh, Hazel. Uh -uh. Take care, Beth. I don't want her getting that hot. No, 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 no. No, baby. No. She's insisting yes, and I'm insisting no. Dad said yes. Mom said no. I know you want to eat it. I know it's good, but it is way too hot for you. Tell you what, we'll put it aside. I'll put it aside in the plate. And once it cools off, then you can have some of it. That'd be good to put in Doris's medicine in. Doris is doing much better. We thought she was doing so much better, we took her off her meds. Nah, not a good idea. Let me figure out how I'm going to get this up and hold the dog. Hazel, can you say hi? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's a hoot. She's a mess. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I'm not putting you down on that floor to let you burn yourself up. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. This is live from Montgomery, Alabama. <laughs> like how they do on Saturday Night Live. Honey, I have not seen that show. Oh my gosh. I had to have been maybe, I don't know, 16, 17 the last time I watched it. Because it was just, hmm, I don't know. And oh, my grandmother and Jack Parr and Johnny Carson. Honey, she'd swoon over them. It's a good thing my granddaddy wasn't, <laughs> wasn't alive. I hope you aren't getting a bone. I think she's just dancing around trying to get to plate that I've got sitting very awkwardly on the, but yeah, there we go. I'm going to do it like that. All right. But yeah, they're just falling. Okay, this is one right here. Uh-oh. See, I'm making a mess. And turkey's behind me. See, it's just, it's just falling slap apart. I wonder if I should go ahead and just pull pork them. You know, go ahead and do my pull pork. Or just let everybody dive and get what they want. If they get a bone, they get a bone. And if not, then they don't. But it smells delicious. I'm going to go to this plate with this one. Oh, God. I almost thought it was going to fall, and her, she is right, right there. She burned her mouth up. I know you're growling at me. You're just going to have to growl. Mommy said yes. Jay said no. <laughs> We're going to blame him for it. <laughs> okay. Well, crap it. You're going to get eaten whether it's tonight or not. Okay, and then here's a little bit. I mean, that just fell slap apart, y'all. Oh, I do have one still down in here. One lone survivor. He didn't want to get off the ship. And this sauce. Oh, I wish I could smell. 
Hold on, let me put this down. Oh, I was gonna, well. I done made a mess on my counters. But that's okay. I'm fixing to have to go and get my corn and my pasta salad. They're both doing. I was trying to catch hazel and that ensued. Alright, so we're going to take a taste. Y'all. Child, please. That is delicious. I mean, I'm not even playing. That is wonderful. The flavor. And it's just pulling off the bone. It would be great for barbecue. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to do up the potato salad. Potato salad. Lord have mercy. Jesus. Pasta salad. I got my corn on the cob done. Care Bass said that she would just eat a plain green salad. So there you go. But here are our ribs. Remember I started with two little packs. Wound up with two packs. And I just divided them that way. Just that's how they came out. Alright, so until next time, be good, be sweet. Don't start nothing. There won't be nothing. Share. Play nicer with others. If you need bail money, call me because I want to hear the story. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, Hines. Okay, I'm back. We're eating. Papa, what's your judgment? It's delicious. It, it really is. Carol Beth, what's your judgment? I. Alright. There's my plate. Um, like I said, those ribs were just falling slap apart. So, I just kind of grabbed the loose. And, uh, I'm picking out the bone as the meat. Right, that man? Right. And, honey, it is getting ready to come up a thunder bumper. If you don't know what a thunder bumper is, you ain't never lived. So... <laughs> All right, until next time. Bye, y'all.